Okay, we are going to find a quadratic equation for this table, and we're going to write the equation in x-intercept form. in vertex form, and in standard form. Okay, so let's look at the table, and we're gonna start by finding the x-intercepts of the graph. So to find the x-intercepts, we need to find two points, where y equals zero. So here are my two x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts of the graph are one, zero, and five, zero. So now to find the y-intercept of the graph, there's one y-intercept, and it is the point where x equals zero. So the y-intercept of the graph is 0, 5. Okay, so here we know we have the x-intercepts of the graph. So how can we find the vertex of the graph? Let's make a little sketch. So we have 0, 5, 1, 0, and 5, 0. OK, if the two x-intercepts of the graph are one and five, how can we find the vertex? The vertex must be where in relationship to the two x-intercepts? The vertex is gonna be right in between the x-intercepts. So to find the vertex, to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, we're going to average the two x-intercepts. So we have 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Okay, so that will give us the x-value, the x-coordinate of the vertex. So we're going to look at our table to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. So that means the vertex must be here. So the vertex is 3, negative 4. So the vertex is in the middle in between the two x-intercepts. OK, so now we're given that a equals 1. What is the equation of the quadratic in x-intercept form? So we have a x minus the first x-intercept and x minus the second x-intercept. But we know that a equals 1, so we know the equation of the graph is x minus 1 x minus 5. When the x-intercepts are positive, they go into the equation as a negative. OK, so given that a equals 1, write the equation in vertex form. So if we had an a, it would go in the front. So x minus 3 squared minus 
four. We took the vertex and this is the X coordinate of the vertex. This is the opposite sign. The Y coordinate of the vertex, this is the same sign. So we have minus three, minus four. But we know that A equals one. So we have X minus three squared minus four. Okay, so we have X intercept form and we have vertex form and they look very different. So now we want standard form. Okay. So to get standard form, I'm going to change both of these into standard form and see how that looks. So to get standard form, I need to multiply x minus 1 with x minus 5. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 1x and 5. So we're going to combine like terms x squared minus 6x plus 5. So it looks like that is the standard form for our table of values for the graph of the quadratic for our table of values. Okay, let's see what happens if we convert the vertex form to standard form. So I need to multiply x minus 3. So I split it so I can put it into a box. x minus 3 squared is x minus 3 times itself. So I have x squared minus 3x minus three X and nine. So I take vertex form. I've multiplied this together and I combine like terms. So I have X squared minus six X plus nine. And then I also have minus four. Y equals X squared minus six X. I'm going to combine like terms and I'm going to have Y equals X squared minus six X plus five. And we see that we had X intercept form and vertex form. And when I changed them both to standard form, they gave me the same equation in standard form.